Good evening, Patrick here from Complete Health. And I've got a question for you. Do you have an injury prevention plan? Do you have a mental health breakdown prevention plan? Because if you don't, why? And what can you do that could actually help you to prevent diseases or injuries or accidents actually taking place? And what things can you do before the event takes place? Like most of us know, proper planning for an event would pre prevent anything from going wrong. Doing the maintenance on your house and your boiler stops the house from breaking down. Proper servicing on your car, again, simple, will stop the thing from actually happening. However, in this country, most of us do very little. And interestingly, only about 10% of money spent on healthcare is actually done in the help of preventing, preventing something from taking place. So what things are you actually doing? What things can you do to help yourself prevent injuries? Because most of us will actually wait until things are injured or broken or disease has actually taken place. Good evening, Hayley, how are you getting on? We will wait until the injury takes place before we actually do something about it. However, it's much easier if we prevent the problem as opposed to waiting to fix the problem. Let's just use an example of a, a pipe bursts in your house. The destruction of the water spreading across the house and leaking onto the wood will start to make the wood rot. And as a result, no longer have you just got to replace the pipe but now you've got to replace the laminate on the floor, the hardwood underneath it, and potentially some of the other furniture and utensils in your house. Why? Because we decided not to prevent, but wait until something goes wrong. And interestingly, the three most common diseases in the UK, cancer, diabetes, and heart disease, are all considered preventable diseases. And some of the simplest things that every single person can do every single day, even during a national lockdown is exercise, improve on their diet, and actually take some time to look after their own mental well-being. It's as simple as that. The majority of us will do dental work. We are legally forced in this country to maintain our cars to a standard that they are not dangerous on the roads. The majority of us will do some level of house maintenance every year. Why? Because we want those things to work. So why? are most of us not actually doing anything to actually promote and prevent problems in our health. Just some food for thought. Just some food for thought, especially on a Sunday evening. Guys, make yourself a plan. It's January. If you haven't already started your New Year's resolutions, you've not actually made yourself an action plan of how you can actually improve your health this year, get in touch and we'll help you. We'll help you to actually make those plans. Patrick here from Complete Health. Till tomorrow, take care.